cell phone, please turn it on silent. If you have to cough, please step outside the room. Uh, roll call. Tim Bornholm. Here. Larry Gray. Here. Gary Brownfelter. Here. Gary Huxman. Here. Layton Caliban. Here. Richard Larson. Here. Jim Leach. Kathy Nicholson. Here. <coughs> Raymond Williams. Here. And it wasn't on the agenda, but is this a good time to inter let Raymond yeah. introduce? Raymond, if you don't mind, just tell us your name, kind of where your address lives. I'm Raymond Williams, and I live at 1888 24th Avenue, Galveston. Um, yeah, farm. Welcome to the board. Thank you. I think you did Kate Layton get introduced to you? No. Layton Califex. Yeah. Gary, did you get yes. yeah. 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 Welcome. Um, we've all got the agenda and we should have our approval. Okay. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Uh, uh, opposed <coughs> say Motion carried. We've got last month's minutes. Layton, did you find any wrong? <laughs> I tell you what, I searched and I couldn't find one. Good. She does an excellent job. I can't believe you found some a couple months ago. I'm going to have a motion for the board. So moved. Second. Then moving the second. All in favor say aye. 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 First thing sign. Yeah. 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 Following are standard ground rules that apply to the public hearings for conditional use, special <coughs> use variance, and or zoning amendment cases to be heard by either the planning board or zoning appeals board. The term governing body refers to the board of county commissioners. The term board refers to the planning board or the zoning appeals board. When addressing the board, the applicant must present any facts or views as evidence at the at this hearing so that the board can make an informed recommendation for their final decision or deliver an informed recommendation to the governing body for their final decision in those cases. The governing body does not have to hold another public hearing on the matter, although they may listen to whomever they wish to. At their hearing, the applicant will be asked if they had a fair hearing and whether there is any new information that was not heard at the board hearing. The governing body will decide if the question of a fair hearing or new information warrants returning the case to the board before consideration by the governing body. All cases will proceed in the following manner. The chair will announce the case. The chair will call an administrator to provide a background information on the case. The chair will call on the applicant to make, a, make their presentation and answer questions from the board. The chair will call on the other interested parties for comments. After everyone has been heard from, the chair, the applicant, will have an opportunity for a final comment or question. The chair will close the hearing to the public comment. The board will then consider all the information presented and discuss their recommendation during which time they may direct questions to the applicant, public, or staff. The chair will call for a motion and a second. The recording secretary will record the motion and a second. The chair will call for a vote on the motion. The recording secretary will record the vote or call upon each individual members for their vote. The chair will announce the recommendations of the board. In presenting information or comments, the applicant should be aware that the board can recommend the following. A site be platted or replatted, a screening plan or fen of fencing and or landscape be required, or other conditions they determine are appropriate if they are potential dangerous effects which may be anticipated upon other property in the neighborhood or the contrary to the welfare and convenience of the public. The applicant should also be aware that any uses permitted outright in a district by the zoning regulations can receive a zoning permit, not just the uses being proposed now by the applicant. <coughs> for this reason, a copy of the zoning regs has been provided on the table in the back of the room for the public viewing. Furthermore, if the applicant chooses to describe various features of their development plan, the county can only enforce those provisions that are covered in the zoning subdivision and sanitation regs. We're ready for 
SD 2019-01 preliminary plat subdivision in Westerville. <coughs> Plat is in the middle of the table for you to look at tonight if you want to pass it around. Uh, this is a preliminary plat uh, subdivision. Uh, it has gone before the subdivision subcommittee and received uh, positive feedback. Um, the applicant has been uh, more than helpful in working with the county to get issues addressed and they've worked with their surveyor and both the applicant and the survey are here tonight. Um, board have any questions for me? Thank you. <clears throat> Only because I probably can't read the plan. But on like lot all the lots, so is there a road that go that splits each lot in half? Yes, correct. Okay. That's a private Just drive. curious. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Do I want the applicant to speak? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go ahead and speak to this well. Nick Schmidt, Garber Surveying. We prepared the plat for the uh, for the owner. Um, really, uh, pretty much have addressed all comments requests by the uh, by the county. The there are a couple questions that the um, owner would like to address here after I speak. The, the only couple requests would concern the fire <coughs> access. Um, question by the first fire department, and then the request for the BPU easement, maybe an alternative to bury that line. So that may be the only changes, either bury or move that service line that runs through lot four. It really close to an existing shed and house. So that might be something we'll look at. But I haven't had a chance to discuss that with John yet. But just a couple, um, couple requests or changes that we may look for here. So. so I because I've never seen this before, but the fire apparatus access road, I see several descriptions of why a circle or a T. Uh -huh. Is that clear up at the end of that drive where they can get turned around and come back out? Or? Yeah, there's there's three or four options for the for a dead end street, basically. Because this is essentially what this comes to be, and one of the options that the that we've chosen is the Y option at the end, at the south end, to give the chance for them to turn around. So. Some of the other options were a um, T intersection or a cul de sac. And again, this is just going to be um, a gravel road to, to be widened to the width needed to meet the requirements. But, um, and who makes that call when that road's adequate? Well, that's a good question. We've learned that ourselves. And if that's up for debate or if that is, a that is a, just a request on the city of McPherson's um, end or if that is a requirement, I guess. So, uh, so we're a bit unclear. I know John had comments from the city, but I'm not sure. Um, if, would you like to speak to the issue? Yeah, you? I'm, please, I'm, I'm please. with uh, my person. Here, Here, can, you, can you come on? Yeah, thank you. <coughs> so, get out of your way. If you like. No, I don't like okay. <laughs> So the reason is that is you have one question. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm not leaving. Okay. Is this a four lot or a five lot? Down here they show five lot. On this one, uh, the back of this first page, they talk like five lots. It is four lots. On here, I see four lots. Yeah, it's only four lots. Okay. Yep. Just step to the podium and state your name. And I'll your name. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'm uh, Division Chief Randall Wolves, my first fire department. Uh, with the questions with the fire access road, uh, 
basically it's just a road, like I said, it can be a sand road. Uh, it needs to be 20 foot wide and it has to be able to support our fire apparatus. Uh, reason being, you know, fire up there, we need to get tankers back in there to, and to fight fire. Also for ambulances, for um, we have to have room to get several emergency vehicles back in and turn around and back out. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. Basically, you said how would it be determined? Um, we just kind of say that it, if you have it packed and you get enough gravel on there, we'll bring a truck out and we drive across it. Basically, we don't ask that you have an engineered uh, road put down, uh, but it has to be able to support, like if we brought our tender out there and we drive that out there, which is about 60,000 pounds, it's got to be able to drive down the road without sinking and moving ruts. I'm just curious who who makes, makes the call whether the road's adequate or not. So. So once it's in, we we would you could call the fire department and, and talk to the chief, and we could take a truck out there and basically just drive the truck across it. That's good. Good to know. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else have any more questions about the plan? Is that what you meant? By yes. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Not, just perfectly. Because we're, we're just a bit unsure. Not legally, who has a final say? What's well? We were just curious how it got enforced and who checked it and so forth. So okay. that's what we were curious how how that all worked out. Yeah. So they get stuck on the first trip. Because <laughs> <laughs> the owners were concerned of the cost, of course, to put a road in and to what extent, and the regulations seem to make it seem a bit daunting. So um, we just want to make sure. So. Okay. Anybody else have any more questions? Fish back. Um, I own the 1723 that's right adjacent to the subdivision. And my concern for the BPU 25 foot the easement that they want is that we were there before they ever extended the utilities to the behind us. And so it's going to interfere with my trees and my garage. And they're going to want to tear all of those down because they wanted to take them down last year. And they never came and got permission before when they moved it you know, and extended it on over to the field behind me. So that's, I just don't want to lose my trees that have been there for 40 years and they want the easement now so they can take control of that. And that, you know, it also interferes with my garage that's out there. So that's a concern that I have. Okay. And I don't know how rigid that 25 foot easement is, you know, for them when they maybe get permission prior to doing it or using it anyway, you know. So, uh, I'll be honest, I don't have the answer either. I wouldn't think they could take your trees down and get an easement without your permission. Well, they wanted to do it last year and I stopped them. And so that's why I know that that'll be the first thing that they're going to want to do is go and take all the trees down. And there's at least three that are, that are running right in within that 25 foot that they'll, that they'll get. And, and 25 feet, you know, it's even into the, the garage that's the, the existing you can see on the plat. But is, is your property on this plat? Pardon me? Is your property on this? Yeah, it's 1723. It's the furthest one in. That's the one that's been landlocked because Lock it's... Four, the, the furthest one south? Yes. My first thought was, what's, why can't they go under it? What, well, what is it? Can, can the easement move more into that property? Yes, yeah, so what, what the challenge is, it serves the property directly west. Instead of coming off of 17th Avenue to serve that property to the west, which is now I push, I believe it lives there. Over here. Mm -hmm. they, they came, it's always been serviced through this, through this landlocked property from the north. So it's kind of an odd situation. 
I would like to propose to BPU as long as it's okay to go through John or however you want to, what channels you want to go here, but to have it relocated as, as part of granting that easement, relocate it south of that shed, at least get away from that house so they can still service that. But, yeah. So like Bush is the end of the line over here? Mm -hmm. right? That's correct. Well, it's just, yeah, that overhead area. It's overhead. Thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the 25 foot gets encroaches into that shed. That's why she's hesitant to grant that as part of it, because that was BP's request for a 25 foot easement. And it creates a challenge because if it does need repair, then that her shed is actually in that easement. So. There's really nothing we can do with that. No, it would be something that Nick and I would have to work with. Yeah, so we have to approve the plat. Yeah, so we have to approve the plat. You're fine legally to go either way. Because it's a preliminary plat, your concerns are going to have to be addressed. So it's going to be addressed to the final. But if you also want to table it, then we can get the concerns addressed and just have to come back. So either way, you're fine. But either way, I don't think BPU has the right to take it. I'm not going to touch that with a 10-foot pole. So if we approve the plat with the conditions that the easement is not on her property? It would still have to be checked out and it would still come back to you as a final plat with an answer one way or the other. We just basically want to make you aware that that's one change that we'll try to uh, adjust or one adjustment we'd like to make before the final plat comes. So. That'd be the, that's just the main concern. So like right. I said, either way you're fine. I would say, is the time frame all right to table that, to get that ironed out before we put our stamp on it for a week? Oh, yeah. How's that time frame for you guys? Could we do the final plat concurrently? I would think so, yeah. Okay, as long as we can do them both next month, I'm, I'm okay with that. Yep. As long as you guys are. We're good with it. Oh, well, okay. Um, is there any further person that wants to speak to the case? So, so I haven't actually got to look at it. It sounds like the access road is in there, the width that it says, and you've got to turn around on it. No, that's so proposed. You've been there before. Yeah. Because you came been. out there to fight the fire. Yeah, a couple and, years ago. And, and you, well, it's been probably 15 years ago, but okay. nothing's really changed. And you were able to pull into my mom's driveway and back back out. So there's plenty of room. And there, I mean, in a, and my five acres that's out there, there's plenty of room for you to turn around out there, you know, the way it is, even it's it's right now. Right. Without doing anything. But it does need to be, it's going to have to be, a, a, because you're planning it and it's basically becoming a road to go down to the, all the houses, it does have to meet the requirements of the fire access road. But, and it, I mean, it can still be a sand road. It just has to be packed and it has to have enough base to it where when we're driving our trucks. And if it's and wet, it's, it has to be. I mean, it's been there for 60 years and it's been rock up and rock, so it's pretty packed already, but I mean. I don't know what the width is now. So it has to, I don't mean, but I don't your mean. fire access is different than her easement with PPU, I think. We're talking about two different things. It's not in the same area. Anybody else want to speak? Nick, you got anything else? Oh, good. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I'll close the public portion of the hearing. Um, we'll review the preliminary plat. <coughs> Meets the design standards and requirements of subdivision regulations, I assume, John? Yes, correct. And the comprehensive plan? Correct. Zoning rates? Correct. Another regulation, ethical regulations? No, no, no. Okay. Is someone. Yeah, I, I move we table SD 2019 until the uh, BPU issue is figured out and other issues. And we probably ought to add in that motion that we'll table it until next month. I assume you guys can get done by yeah. that time frame, so we'll table it for next month. You did, Gary, second it. Okay, is there any further discussion? 
All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Okay. Thank you very much.